Hi there, Roger with KM Precision Shooting Products. In this video, we're going to review our neck turner kit and all of the associated parts in that. Plus, we're also going to focus on the parts and pieces you need to do the job and then what are the accessory items that make the job uh, more enjoyable. So, there's three things you're really going to need to do the job you're going to need your neck turner body with your pilot and cutter, you're going to need your expand mandrel with your press adapter, and you're going to need a power adapter so you can hold and drive the cartridge. So let's take a look at each one of those. So your neck turner body, uh, are some choices you'll have to make for that when you're setting it up. Uh, one will be your caliber of course, and then within, once you choose your caliber you'll need to know which pilot you would like. We have two pilots that are non-cutting or just a radius on the end of the pilot. Uh, one is ground from carbide, one is ground from steel. We also have a cutting pilot that has cutting flutes ground to the end. This is ground only from carbide and this is designed and used to take away a donut if you're having a donut issue in your brass. You're also going to need to make your selection of your cutter. We have a tool steel cutter as well as a carbide cutter and again there will be multiple lead angles on that that you can choose. So that's the neck turner body itself. The next thing that you're going to need is your expand mandrel of the same caliber. So you'll need the expand mandrel and the press adapter to hold that. The expand mandrel is used to properly size the case neck so it properly fits on that brass to do your neck turning. This will go into the top of your press. You'll bring your case up onto that to size that. The next thing you're going to need is your power adapter. You can use the power adapter either manually with the handle or you can take the handle off. Use the power adapter with your cordless screwdriver. Uh, we use a shell holder, a, a Lee Auto Prime shell holder in our uh, power adapter so you can choose the appropriate shell holder for your particular cartridge. Now the remainder of the items are more of the accessories that make the job a lot nicer and easier. First we're going to talk about the power grip. The power grip is the device that's used with the uh, power adapter. Essentially that is a ring that goes over top of the shovel retainer nut of the power adapter so you can get a good hand hold on that versus maybe using a wrench to tighten and loosen your cartridge. So as you're taking a cartridge in and out, you got an easy grip on that. Next thing we're going to look at is the pilot jack. The pilot jack is simply a setup aid when you're setting up your tool. It's used to help you position the pilot within your neck turner for your end of cut into the next shoulder junction. It clamps onto the bottom edge of your neck turner body. There is a thumb screw in that that backs up the shank end of the pilot. So as you make adjustments positioning that pilot for your end of cut into the neck shoulder junction, you always have a frame of reference with the uh, thumb screw. Once you get the tool set up, you can take that off. You won't need that anymore. Next thing we'll take a look at is the window riser. The window riser is a nice little device, especially if you're using a conventional frame press like a RCOH rock chucker, for example, that you use with, in conjunction with the um, expand mandrel and press adapter, they, they thread together. It brings the operation up above the head of the press. There's a viewing window inside of it so you can see the action. You can also, at that point, remove the stop screw in the expand mandrel because you no longer will need that when you're using the window riser. The last thing here is the ergo holder. The ergo holder is used with the neck turner body. It's just a device that gives you a nice hand hold on the, the neck turner body itself when you're doing your turning. Little set screws snug that in so that it keeps the neck turner body retained and then as you're doing your neck turning you got a nice good grip onto the neck turner itself. The remaining locations in the neck turner kit are just extra locations for additional calibers of pilots, expand mandrels, shell holders, and then we also have a location for the imperial die sizing wax which is a very good lubricant to use both on your expand mandrel and your pilot when you're doing your expanding and your turning. Well, that's the review of the neck turner kit. Thank you for watching and please visit us at kmshooting.com.